Well, this is something definitely worth recording. Here's the Walled Garden, or Le Parc, as the French call it. The 1st of April, after a day of prune training, <coughs> pruning trees. We've bollard, we've pruned, we've cut down. We've taken up, I think at last count, about 12 tree stumps. And we have got a bonfire of bonfires to light up once the wood is dry. We'll keep the bigger pieces for the winters to come, but it is amazing the difference it has made to opening up the garden and also allowing us access to other parts of the garden like over here that previously we just couldn't get into because of the briars. Wesley has done a phenomenal job. It's going on about 7 o'clock in the evening. He got here around 10 in the morning. And for the most part, it's just been working non-stop with a few breaks here and there, a few beers here and there, some brownies, croissants, and that's about it. That's what's kept him going. Stephen is about absolutely knackered, ready to drop, stressed out of his mind, worried that tree branches were going to hit power lines. And there's our bonfire. And that all has to be cleared out. Jerry's just told me to sweep the road. All right, I'll get, a, I'll get some brooms. <laughs> there's the man himself. And I guess I'm gonna go sweep the road. light work of what would have been a really exhausting task for Stephen and I to clear up all these tree limbs. Money extremely well spent. We still had to bring in a tree surgeon to do some of the more trickier trees <clears throat> that are too close uh, to power lines or simply too high up. Um, but hopefully, with the work that Wesley's done today, a uh, tree surgeon will have um, a lighter job of it. They're extremely expensive tree surgeons, and it's an expense that, to be honest, we can't really afford, um, but is a necessity, unfortunately. There's the old pine tree that's been pruned back. But, as you can see, Wesley couldn't get up high enough. So that is one of the examples of where the tree surgeon is necessary.